it's Emily Lou here from Cognizant, your premium B2B data provider. And today I'm going back to settle a debate, inbound versus outbound. What's best for B2B lead generation? In this video, I'll be covering the ins and outs of what these two methods are, the benefits of inbound and outbound, and steps to help you decide which method is best for your business. Starting with a quick summary, just as it sounds, inbound is when prospects find you and reach out about your product or service. In other words, the leads are coming in to you. And outbound is when your company, usually a sales rep, reaches out to the target prospect to make them aware of your product or service. Now, I can hear you asking, but Emily, which of these is better? Which one should I be doing, inbound or outbound? What is going to get me more leads? Don't worry, I'm going to get to the juicy stuff soon. But first, let me just say, neither one of these methods is better than the other. But one might be more appropriate for your business model. And I'm here to help you find out which one is best for you. Okay, so what exactly is inbound marketing and how do you get your leads throwing themselves at you? Well, this lead gen strategy is all about content. Theory is, if you want prospects who are ready or thinking about a product like yours, then they'll likely be doing their own research about it. I mean, come on, when you're thinking about purchasing, what's the first thing you do? You Google it, right? So your prospects will be doing things like visiting your company website or blog, reading up about your product or service, downloading and getting value from the content you post online, evaluating if you're a trusted provider in your field, and hopefully signing up for a meeting or demo. The idea being that helpful and engaging content draws your prospects in. They see value in what you do. They believe you can help them and trust you as a source of information. Now, of course, that means you have to focus on a couple of things. Your content has to be value driven, meaning that people want to engage with it. It also has to be easily discoverable online. That means you need to optimize it for things like Google and other search engines and distribute it on your blog and social media. The best part of inbound is your potential customers come to you because they've already searched for you, already found out a lot about you. You don't have to do so much work educating them later on. It means you don't have to do so much hard selling to persuade them. But building up a funnel like this takes time. So here are some examples of inbound. Blog posts. Online articles that educate your prospects on your product or related subjects. They should contain strategically placed keywords that make your content appear in search. Organic social media posts. This can be on any number of social media channels depending on where your prospects are likely to be. LinkedIn is the main channel for B2B. Paid search. Online ads that capture your prospects' attention. Ebooks. Downloadable, longer form content that answers the burning questions your leads are asking. Video, create a YouTube channel for your business and publish fun and informative videos if you're lucky. Some of them will go viral. Webinars and podcasts, deep dive into specific topics and establish yourself as an expert in your market. Interview thought leaders and influencers in your industry and build up that all important trust and authority around your brand. And if you want to see how we've managed each of these inbound activities at Cognizant, I'll leave some links in the description for you. So that's inbound. Now, what about outbound? Well, outbound is the more traditional method of lead generation. When most people think of outbound sales, they see the busy sales office with the sea of SDRs glued to the headset talking on the phone. And I mean, that's true to an extent, but outbound sales has expanded over the last decade with lots of new channels to reach prospects emerging. Some examples of outbound are cold calling, an unsolicited phone call to a prospect in an attempt to make a sale, outbound email, emails that are sent without prior permission with the end goal of connecting and booking meetings with prospects, social selling, researching and engaging with prospects on social media, 
video prospecting, recording and sending personalized videos to prospects and voice prospecting, an audio version of video prospecting where salespeople record snippets of dialogue and send them to prospects. Outbound is basically any way that a salesperson can reach a prospect and share information with them about a product or service. If you're a new business and you want to generate leads and frankly, who doesn't? All you have to do is work out who your target audience is send them some emails and make some calls and start talking to them on LinkedIn. It's the quickest way to generate new leads, however. A little word of warning, depending on your industry, outbound can be challenging. Lots of markets out there are highly saturated and there's a lot of fatigue and distrust around things like cold callings. And I mean, no one likes to be interrupted when they're working right. So my word of advice is just get creative, think outside the box, try and stand out from the crowd and build up some trust and authority before you start winning over your prospects. Okay, so now you know what inbound and outbound are, let's go into more of the interesting stuff. Like why would you choose one of these methods over the other? So let's start with inbound. So inbound has been playfully named reverse prospecting simply because your prospects is the one to initiate the contact. This brings with it a number of benefits, including lower expenses. You may pay to increase the visibility of your online ads. However, a lot of your exposure comes from organic search and traffic. Increase trust and more credibility. Prospects could be finding value in your content for weeks or months before a purchase decision, during which time they build trust in your brand as an expert. Increase website traffic and higher quality leads. Focusing on SEO means more people are likely to find you during the research phase of their decision making. This meaning you'll have more time to influence their choice. The opportunity to nurture leads. Some of your prospects might be right at the beginning of the buying journey or maybe not there at all. They may have come across your content when researching something else. Nurture these leads with educational or value adding content. So to sum up inbound, it's cheaper. You're more likely to get high quality leads if you're doing it right. And you'll have less resistance when it comes to purchasing decisions. So sounds pretty good if you ask me. Now, what about outbound? I know exactly what you're thinking. Why would I bother with outbound when inbound gives me better leads and saves me more money? Well. It's a, it's a timing thing. Inbound activities can take a while to build up. It takes longer to create an effective pipeline of leads. Whereas outbound, while more expensive, is fast. And there are other benefits to it. Like it generates leads quickly. You pick up the phone, share your message, and all of a sudden you could have a lead. Targets exactly who you want. Outbound gives you the chance to choose your prospects. Start off by creating a list of people to contact. And lastly, it builds awareness. Your prospects might have not been aware of your product or service before your outreach, but after you've got in touch, they can begin with their own decision-making process about whether or not they want to work with you. So now, down to the crux of it. Which of these is better, inbound or outbound? So which one of these will work best for your business? And it really depends on your customers, your business model, and your budget. And to help you determine which one of these is a better fit, all you need to do is ask yourself some questions. So number one is, how much time do I have to execute? Number two, who am I targeting? How much do I have to invest? which is most likely to have a higher ROI. And lastly, which method aligns with the trust and credibility I am trying to create? So once you've got your answers, a clear winning option should emerge, but wait. Uh, at this stage, I'd like to make a really important point. Inbound and outbound are not your only options. There's also allbound. And so let me tell you all about it. There's actually really no need to put inbound and outbound sales against each other. Individually, they have their advantages, but together, well, you could be unstoppable. Using a combination of inbound and outbound creates an efficient lead gen machine working to accomplish your sales and business goals. For example, you could create an online tool or lead magnet that your prospects can only access by filling in an online form and giving their contact details. These leads emerge through inbound, but could be 
nurtured through the funnel using outbound activities. Your SDRs could establish relationships with these leads, learn more about their pain points and refer them to other resources to help with their decision making. Alternatively, you could call a target prospect and simply make them aware of your company. Point them towards your website or social channels after they've searched for you and found your online presence, they can be nurtured through the funnel. Either way, the bottom line is when inbound and outbound work together, that's when the magic happens. After all, when 87% of sales and marketing leaders say collaboration between sales and marketing enables business growth. What are you waiting for? <laughs> so there you have it, inbound versus outbound. What's the best for B2B lead generation? And the answer? The answer is all bound. So what approach would work best for you? Leave your thoughts in the comments and I'd love to see them. And that's all for me today. And I'll be back soon with more great B2B content. But in the meantime, why not check out some of Cognizant's videos in our B2B sales playlist? I'll put a link in the description. And one last thing before I go, if you like this video, don't forget to click the like button and share and also subscribe. So I'll see you next time.